<laughs> Couldn't get up on the first time, broke him the second time. This time, nothing's happened. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad Third time's a charm. <laughs> so, yeah, so the other day, I had a guy tell me, hey, you're in a chair. <laughs> That must be nice. <laughs> and I said, really? Yeah? Does your asshole look like the Zarlacc pit that swallowed up Boba Fett in Star Wars? <laughs> After you take a shit? <laughs> you ever been in a men's locker room at this height? Yeah, my head is at dick level. I've seen enough nut sacks to fertilize the world for the next thousand years. Awkward and uncomfortable, especially when they try and make small talk with you. It's hard enough for me not to look at him in both of his eyes, and now I'm going to focus on that, but not looking at him in his third eye. <laughs> Damn it. So my fix for this is to get a neck brace, a neck brace, which is the type that you see after you, one of your friends gets into a horrible car accident and they get a bad whiplash. It's the kind that kinks your neck up and it forces your head up, so that's my idea is to get one before I go into a locker room and then that'll fix the whole thing where, you know, even if I want to go look down at the, what I got, you know, if I want, I can't, it's forced up, you know. So you take the thing, get it on there, and then... It could, be, it could be screwed up, cranked up, I don't care. Any fetish freaks in the crowd who have any recommendations, I'd appreciate it. Any ideas? And uh, so the next time I do get asked in the locker room from this nice gentleman, hey, how was your soap? And I can say, oh, thank you, it was great, my friend. I had a great soap, but Wait a minute, hold on. There are mirrors in this locker room ceiling. Hold on, <laughs> shit. Oh, I can't, but I can't get out of this thing. Wait, I'm not on a sink for it either. I have no sink. Get me out of this. Get the, get the thing off. Get... <laughs> no, I don't know. There's locker rooms and mirrors on it. But... So, uh, I mentioned it before. I uh, went down to Healy for a few days uh, a month ago. Stayed, stayed the night. And, um... Yeah, it's uh, it's cold country down there, you know. It's I, I noticed that men are men down there, right? So what I decided to do is go to the Three Bears grocery store and get some soy milk and elderberry sauce. And then while I was doing that, I was like, ah, let's go to the hardware store connected to the store, the grocery store. And I went in there and I go, Jesus, holy shit, folks! They have enough firepower in there to fit the Fifth Fleet. I mean, they had nickel-plated, sawed-off pistol-grip shotguns, AK-47s, uh, 100 types of AR-15 variants, automatic shotguns, fucking Uzis, Mac-10s, uh, Barrett 50 cal. I, I go in there, Jesus, are we, is Russia invading us here in a bit? Like, holy shit, what's going on? <laughs> like, nah, we just like to have the, this is what we got. And I'm like, oh, wow, okay. God damn, I mean, I felt like I was looking at Tony Montana's closet. There's all kinds of exotic weapons there. It's stuff that I've never seen before. Unbelievable. Shit. I remember when I was a kid, you'd go into a gun store, and there was a Woodstock hunting rifle up on the wall. <laughs> like, what the hell happened? And so I was like, well, I did some thing, and I'm like, well, maybe there's a high population of bears in the area, right? This is Healy. So I did some Googling, right? Branty went to this research table, so I took a look, and I said, like, okay, Healy, population 1,000. Black bear, grizzly bear population via collar and track 4 to 500, north of the Alaska Range. So that's in that relative area. I'm like, shit, that's not that much. God damn. So you're telling me, unless these goddamn bears took up arms and became goddamn Navy SEALs, you need a Mac 10 to take one of them down? Are you shitting me? I mean, granted, if you use the right bullet with a bear at 50 cal and hit a moose, well, he saved on the prep work for making chili. But. Yeah, so.
So, I don't know. If you know that gun fetish thing they got going down there in Healy, so check it out when you get a chance. And speaking of uh, fetishes and bears, I was in the Healy Hotel lobby the morning, uh, one of the mornings there getting breakfast, and I happened to look over, and I seen this grizzly man walking with the most goddamn beautiful cowboy boots I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, folks. These things were amazing. They were a bright, vibrant red and a white strap around the cap. But what really got my attention was that they were bedazzled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Those are my boots. Those things took my, oh man, they took my heart away. And this boy was, I mean, this, he was roughneck above the knees and all love and fun below him. Yeah. <laughs> and I just sat there watching, walking, me by, walking by me, and it was like a slow motion scene out of a love movie. Oh, <laughs> Folks, man, I felt something below my waist happen, and I haven't felt that in a long damn time. <laughs> Yeah. I think I know the culture. Yeah, I've seen Yellowstone and Broke Back Mountain. And so, yeah, he walked out the door and out of my life. And I don't swing that way, but if I did, I would have told him. You can just keep those boots on this whole time. Woo! sketchy tonight. Thank you. Woo! That's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna get you a pair of bedazzled boots. <laughs> I feel like that would be awesome. Give it up for Branch! 